everybody, welcome back to Heidi's Humble Home. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today is kind of a, well, a little bit of everything, kind of a video. Um, I did my grocery shopping. I've got some fruit drying over there on the counter. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you a couple outfits I bought for my little Jack's christening, my little grandson, his baptism is tomorrow. And I found some cute things at Marshall's. It's not supposed to be real great, maybe like 68, uh, looked cloudy, I think. Um, and then we're gonna make some sage and basil butter. Uh, we will probably be planting, I have a little stand that I used last year, we'll probably be planting a couple pots of um, sage, basil, parsley, maybe chives, I, I kinda forgot what I ended up buying. Anyway, so one of the outfits I bought, let me move this chair over a little bit. These were on sale, guys, for $12. I kind of wish the buttons were sil uh, were gold, but they're silver. These ended up fitting me to a T. Um, it's like sailor pants, but I love them. I'm hoping I'm standing back far enough. Let me show you up close. And then, um, so I thought those were so cute. Okay, so, and then this is probably what I'm going to be wearing. If you know me well, I'm very solid, kind of a, uh, except for today. Won't lose me in a crowd with these, will ya? Um, I'm usually a solid, uh, neutral kind of a person, but I loved these. Look at the bottoms. These were $20, okay? And they've got the gold on the belt, which I love. And then I'll probably wear, um, I brought, I'll probably show pictures on Instagram, okay? If you're new here, follow me on Instagram. Maybe I'll take a picture if I remember to, uh, you know, when I'm ready tomorrow. To, so here's just a plain black shirt. Uh, this was on sale for six dollars you can't beat it you know what i mean so those are a couple of the outfits um i'm planning on wearing the the black pants here um i would usually tend to wear like the white ones something just plain and neutral but i think i'm going to wear these i might have to wear a sweater because i think it could be a little bit cool all right so i am going to come back into the kitchen and we'll make that easy sage and basil uh, herb butter is what it's called. Um, great on steaks, pasta, vegetables. I'm gonna be having steak later on in the week. I actually forgot to buy steak. Uh, was on my list, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so I'll get that later in the week, but you can add it on top. Uh, you add in some minced garlic, uh, it's delicious. Very easy, it's like sim very simple to make. So here's my fruit just sitting there. I rinse it with the water and vinegar. Um, a lot of you may know I do that. I've had a couple of videos on that. But let me zoom over here real quick. Hope I didn't get you dizzy. Guys, if you're not rinsing your fruit, because organic fruit is very expensive, and I know you're not getting everything, but at least I know I, I'm getting something. Look at the bowls. I've showed you this before on Instagram. That's gross, okay? So uh, I encourage you to wash your fruit, uh, at least to get some of that yucky stuff off, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, this recipe will be linked. So I have two sticks of butter that you bring to room temp and then cream it with a hand mixer. Okay, so it's a little bit softer. And here I have um, two tablespoons of basil. It said chopped, but I made mine smaller. And then sage leaves. Um, I'm gonna cut those up for you. Please, no critics. I don't even know how to cut sage. However, I did make this last year, and like I said, it is so good. Get rid of those stems there. Um, on steak, um, you could do potatoes, pasta, veggies. It's really good, and you know what? Another nice gift. Um, if you watch me regularly, I did the lavender hand scrub. That was a nice hostess gift, but this can be too. And good way to use up some of your herbs, right? Uh, especially towards the end of summer. Sometimes you have a lot of stuff left and it's like, oh, how am I gonna get rid of this? Um, sage has a lot of uses. You could also make some tea, like a green tea, but it's like sage tea. And, um, but anyway, it's really simple. And what we're gonna do is mix this in. You can add other herbs too. I'm gonna add, oh, that came right off. I'm gonna add some minced garlic. Instead of chopping up, I'm gonna be lazy and just use this out of the jar. And, Oh, I can smell that garlic. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the basil and the sage right in and making sure it's enough. I'm gonna eyeball it to make sure um, I feel like it's there's enough in there. Let's see. I think it's gonna be good. 
And what we're gonna do is, I made this once before, last year. Let me take this out, a little stringy there. And I ended up putting it in the freezer so I could show you guys uh, the finished product. But anyway, what you do is we're gonna put this on some plastic wrap and I'm just gonna fold it into like a log. All right, so we're gonna, oh, I gotta add in the garlic, hello. Let's see, there we go. You don't have to, add what you want. Maybe there's something else you wanna add instead. I think the garlic would be a great addition. Um, I feel like some people, you either like garlic or you don't. We like it, not a ton of it, but enough. I hope you guys are well. Hope you had a nice Mother's Day. Uh, my last video came out then, so it's been a week. I usually try to um, upload on a Sunday. I have a christening tomorrow, so that's very exciting. So I'll try to upload this uh, for Sunday. Let's get our plastic wrap out. Okay. And we're gonna just place this in the middle and you're just gonna form a loaf. It smells delicious, by the way. There we go. Don't wanna waste any. Okay, and we're just gonna wrap this up. I might have a little bit extra here. But what I'm gonna do is, um, hopefully you can see it, I'm going to make it into a loaf. Isn't it funny, two sticks of butter, and this is only how big it is, <laughs> right? And you can actually see the herb, so it's it's small, but that's okay. I mean, if you really want to double it, then you got four four sticks. But actually, let me do this. Um, so it's I'm gonna put that in the freezer, and I think we'll check on that later. Okay. So look at that. You can see the herbs all throughout. It's actually enough uh, for a nice gift. You could put a bow around it or present it in a dish. Maybe you go to the dollar store and get a dish, a nice, a pretty dish. Put it in there, uh, wrap it up. So anyway, okay, we're gonna put this in the freezer and we will come back to that. And we're outside and here's the stand. I've gotten that from Amazon, I think last year. Um, I can link it probably too in case somebody's interested. I'm just gonna hose it off. And I noticed though, I guess from wear and tear of last year when I was hosing it off, some of the paint was coming off on the inside, but whatever, it is what it is. and. Um, just gonna get it cleaner than it was actually. I know I'm outside, but those birds are so loud. What it is, is my neighbor next door has these arborvitaes. Um, and the birds all hang around in there, but they are so loud. I don't know if they're crows in there or what, but it's very annoying sometimes, even though I you know, love nature and hearing the birds, it's nice in the morning and stuff like that, but these guys are really loud sometimes. <laughs> And also, this sounds gross, but the amount of bird poop, like on the pool cover and on the patio, it's it's pretty bad this year. I don't know what's going on. I forgot to mention this little stand also comes with a little green shovel. So I already put that on there. You'll really hear the birds now. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I always keep it real here. Um, I thought the herbs that I bought had sage in them, but they didn't. So I purposely went to the supermarket because that um, butter I wanted to make for you guys is sage and basil. Um, so the uh, herbs that I bought were basil, um, rosemary and chives. Uh, apparently when I bought it, I wasn't looking very good. Uh, but you know, hopefully I'll use them anyway, but I'm just saying I thought there was sage in there and there was not. So when you saw me cutting it up um, earlier, uh, I did have to go to the supermarket and get some. Just letting you know. 
I mentioned this last year. I know nothing about herbs, planting. I'm learning a little bit more. Gardening, any of that, it's not my forte. Um, but anyway, I'm wondering if I should have added a little bit of soil on the top. However, they work kind of full, so uh, we'll see what happens. I was going to do some kind of a DIY on these, but I think for now, um, I'm just, I just kind of decided I'm just going to put them in the pots and put them in the stand, and uh, that would be it. So that's it. Please let me know if I did anything wrong. Um, hopefully these will take off. I don't know if the chives are gonna make it. Is that looking normal or what? Let me know. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Hope to see you soon.